Hey guys, my name is Cassandra and welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to show you guys today what I'm doing with my three-year-old. He's going to be four in January, so just a few months away. But I wanted to show you what I ordered for him for homeschooling this year. So we are working on the All About Reading program, which you guys may know. If you haven't seen the video where I told you what's included in the All About Reading pre-reading deluxe package, then I will definitely link that down below for you. So he is really enjoying that. Like he asks to do that so much and I can't wait to do a review on that once we are completed it. But I did order some other things for him that I wanted to show you from Master Books. And it's kind of funny because I actually ordered one of the things for my daughter um, who is five years old, um, but it is way too easy for her. So it's actually going to go to my son, um, which is the math uh, lessons for living education level kindergarten. And then I also ordered the stepping stones uh, for him as well. So I'm going to show you in each book what I think about it. And also I'll show you, I was a little bit confused when I went on the website because it was confusing about what was before first grade, like what was for before first grade for before first grade a little bit. Like if you're looking for preschool or, uh, you know, pre-kindergarten or whatever, it really just emphasizes grade one. Also, there are lots of other things available that you could purchase, which I will show you, but I didn't because I didn't want to go too much into the biblical uh, learning from this company, <laughs> because from Master Books specifically, just because I've heard, well, first of all, they don't use the King James Bible. That kind of drives me nutty. And also, um, I've heard that they're kind of a little bit anti-Mormon. Um, I am... A member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints so I didn't really want any conflicting information now of course it's easy to filter like in some of the things I did get for my daughter it does does have some Bible verses and I could just change them to the King James Version and that's no big deal at all and of course I can filter it at this age it's totally fine but I didn't want to get this specific you know Bible curriculum so anyway I'll go ahead and show you here and if you like this don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up and look forward to it and also if you guys want me to review curriculum please let me know my children like I said are three and five so anywhere around those ages I'd be happy to to review it um, for you or to show you a look inside or anything our homeschool budget is quite good so I'm happy to explore things and I really like mixing things up anyway so definitely give this a thumbs up if it's been helpful and let's get into it I've been rambling a long time <laughs> let's get into it all right so I'm going to be showing you inside each of these manuals but first I want to start by showing you this little catalog they sent me which from now on I will order this with the curriculums because I found this super helpful I should have ordered it with the Sunlight one as well, but I didn't. Anyway, so that's videos coming soon, what's included in the Sunlight preschool and pre-K packages. So I found it a little confusing, as I said on the website, to, to differentiate the preschool and pre-K, but the once you get from first to 12th grade, it's really nicely laid out here. You've got your first grade and you just kind of go down the list of every subject and figure out what you need to pick up <laughs> and so it's it's very easy and then on the next page they also come in packages so you've got your whole grade one package there if you're interested in all the material um, like I said I wasn't really interested in the, the real biblical focused things for example this package here so this is the early learning as you guys know, I picked up this, and I picked up this for my daughter, which again is probably going to be a bit um, easy for her, but that's okay. It doesn't help to, or it helps to review the basics, sorry. So all this stuff here, I also picked up this Noah's Ark. I'll go grab that for you guys and show you, but because um, I figured you can't really go wrong with the Noah's Ark story, <laughs> story but uh, uh, okay, so you've got Bible beginners for preschoolers, some big thoughts for little thinkers. I almost picked those up, but I didn't. Um, again, I'm just a bit nervous about things from this curriculum. So you, or this company. So you've got, um, a few focused story books there, a book about the creation and a book about God's world. So you can pick all of those things up and this is their preschool and pre-K, uh, or this is actually kindergarten, I guess, um, things that they offer. Now I'm also going to show you the preschool math because this is definitely something I would suggest for, it says ages four to six, but I think that's a bit wild. It's definitely for younger, I would say. Like my three-year-old son will probably find a lot of this stuff pretty easy. So just know that it's kind of a, if you're focusing on, you know, kind of matching up with the schools or 
um, where your kid is at. You can judge it when I show you inside the book today, but I do think this is a little bit, and I've heard that in other videos before, that this is a little bit older than maybe it is. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. And um, anyway, this then the rest of this catalog shows you the things in the older grades, so I won't go into that. So we're gonna start with the stepping stones. I didn't realize quite what it was, but I, you know, thought I would give it a try, just grab something for my son, but it is not quite like I thought. So you have these milestone markers. If you're interested in keeping a checklist of where your child might be at, I'm not interested in this for preschool. I think it's a bit much to be worrying so much about, you know, what level they're at and whatever um, for when they're that age, but you know, to each their own, it, it may be helpful for some. This is your um, ideas of things you can pick up to supplement with the course. I do like when that is outlined in the curriculums because it is uh, helpful to have some ideas and I really like to pick things up to go with it to keep the programs active and fun. So really like that. Again, you've got your milestones laid out here and they're also laid out uh, at the end. So just a little overview. I know colors and can recognize animals. I can cut and make healthy food choices. I know my shapes and the first letter in my name. I can follow the direction, follow directions and hop on one foot. I know opposites and emotions and I did it. I'm ready for kindergarten. So I would again suggest this for like a two year old more, two to three, um, which I don't know, is that technical preschool age? Let me know in the comments below. I don't actually know what technical preschool age is. So you've got your, this. it's laid out like this for every lesson. You've got stone one, meaning milestone one, and then step one is like lesson one, so it's broken up into days. So you've got your making connections part here, and I think it's, a lot of it's talking about creation. Sorry, I don't know if I missed this, but these are all the memory verses. Of course, like I said, I'll be changing those to the King James Version, but um, and they're always listed on the bottom as well. And then you talk about someone from the Bible, which I like. And if there's something, you know, that I want to add or take away from this, I think it's pretty easy to do. So we're talking about Abraham there. And then you've got the activity here on the back. So this is matching. Do you see this star? It's just like these star. This star, make them match and then draw a line to the matching objects. Again, like that's pretty good for a two year old, right? Um, that my son will just be like, seriously, mom. Uh, <laughs> so then we've got, um, talking about birds, Abraham again, and then another matching. And then, sorry, that was step two. I need to show you. So that was a whole new day. So day one, day two, activity, day three, activity. So it goes on like that. And I'll just go to... The end of this milestone. Oh wait, what? I thought it was milestone. I thought the stones were broken up into milestones, but obviously they're not. My bad on that. So let's go back to the beginning just so I can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Does it lay it out for us? This is week six, week 12, week 18. So milestone one should be after week six, if that's how it's laid out, let's see. Yeah, okay, so it's broken up into weeks here. S sorry, I'm not showing you properly. So stone one is actually a week one, I'm so sorry, or week six. So the stones mean weeks. So here's your congratulations thing you can give them. I know my colors now and I can recognize animals. That's good for a quick review too, which is never hurts. And then I'll just kind of uh, show you There's some extra things in the back here, some flashcards. You've got, okay, so you've got your supplies broken up by lessons here. So it takes a bit of preparation, not, not quite open and go, but again, I'll let you know a full review when we finish the curriculum so that um, I can tell you my thoughts on it after we finished. And I'll also show you the things I picked up to go along with it if I pick up a lot of things that are not on the list here, which I can't imagine I'm gonna pick up too much just because I don't think this will be a huge focus for us. But uh, okay, so we've got that. And then this I ordered for my daughter, which was a mistake. 
should have ordered the grade one for sure. Um, this is going to be even a little bit easy for my son. So what I do like is I got the teaching companion and the teaching companion is for all of the math for living education lessons. So you've got level K, le you know, grade three. You don't have to pick up one of these every time you pick up a new level, which is fantastic. So I'll just show you in it. It's fantastic, I should say, but I also don't know how helpful it's going to be because it's so tiny. It's pretty thin. But it does have, I saw some recipes in there. So it says, uh, Biblical Worldview Methods in Math, Part 1. Good Brain Math exp Explanations. Section 3 is Goals and Objectives. And here's your scope and sequence chart. These are the things they're going to be learning when you start level 1 to level 6. So that's what this book would cover, not the high school, or not the, what do you call them? Middle school? I don't know what they called them after grade six, but anyway. So that's all broken down. And then the level K one, which is the one I'm showing you, is after that. And it's just this little paragraph here. So part two is making math lessons for living education work for you. It talks about different tools. If your children has, sorry, if your child has a learning disability, some things that might be helpful teaching place value, which I hear can be a tricky thing to teach. Um, creating the, how to create the flashcards and then specific things for different lessons as the grades get higher. So I won't get into that with you just because I'm only showing you this one today. So this is again, the level K. I'll show you exactly how it works. You've got your scope and sequence here in the front. Just pause the video at any time if you wanna look more in depth into these things that I'm showing you. Um, okay, so you've got your materials listed for each lesson right in the front of this one. Uh, so again, it takes a bit of preparation, not exactly open and go. And then this stuff kills me, I don't know. First semester schedule, you know, daily schedule. This would be good, I guess, if you have to report to your school, like you could show them, okay, this is all the stuff they did. But if you are not reporting to a school, I do not think you should be doing this stuff in kindergarten, but what do I know? Just have fun with it. Don't worry about what exactly they've done here and what date they've done it on. No, I don't know. Okay, so I love these because it starts with a story and then you do activities based on the story. So you've got your story there. Focus on rainbows. Gives you some little things here too. Don't forget to complete your calendar, which they provide for you at the back. I'll show you that at the end here. And then you've got your exercise by day. So have you ever seen a rainbow? Did you know it's a full circle? Blah, blah, blah. Here's your critical thinking. Again, like this is so easy. Like, okay, go along the straight line, count the bumps. Like my son was even like, really? Um, and then letters, numbers one to four and colors. Trace the circles with your finger. How many circles do you have? Count to five. Okay, so let's go back to that objective really quickly. I wonder if it lays out like it did the last one, what they'll be learning at the end of this. Yes, right here, really quickly. So they learn to count to 10, number zero to 10. So again, what like, I'm not judging, but I don't think many kindergartners are not gonna know how to count from zero to 10. I don't know, that's like, I don't know. That's really weird. Understand one-to-one -one correspondence up to 10. Explore weight and measurements through play and cooking. So that might not be great for me in Canada, depending on the weight and measurements they use. And then make connections to their world, noticing basic patterns, shapes, and concepts of time. So maybe near the end, the patterns and stuff might be something I'll do with both of the kids. If I am doing an activity and I think it will be useful for Alice, then I will get her to do it too, because these are the kind of things that I'm gonna have to look look up in advance to plan for the next day. So you've got five exercises per story. So you could do a week per story. I think that's probably the idea. Um, so the next one, again, a story and you've got your activities. I'll show you some more in the front of the book and then I'll go to the back of the book. Beautiful flowers in the spring, trace the ovals, count to five. You've got your seasons. Circle five objects in the box, touch them as you count. Critical thinking, match the patterns with the correct season, count the seasons, four seasons. Draw a person with an oval face, ear and nose. Use any other lines or shapes for their body. That, that will be really cute. I love when they draw little pictures. And then what's your favorite season? 
What is something about the season that you enjoy? Color these flowers purple, red, and yellow. So let's go on to one of the lessons later on. You've got your story, and then you've got trace the shapes. Tell your teacher what each shape is called. Critical thinking. Do you remember when we talked about going over and under? What does it mean to go over something? Go above it. Show me how you can go over something. Show me how you can go in something. Show me how you can go around something. Yeah, that's handy. Okay. Count out 10 blocks. Can you count to 10 while you hop? Match the opposites. So that's great. It's like interactive. Get them moving around. I always like that. Uh, take a block and do the following. Put the block on the book. Put the book block below the table. So you're just exploring different words. That's fantastic. Count the graph and the birds. Color in the graph when you know how many there are. That's also cool. So this will be decent for my son, who's three, not four to five or whatever it said. Four to six, I think even. Uh, left and right matchup game. And then, so talking about left and right, my daughter actually don't think knows that quite yet. Um, and then circle one that is biggest. That's cute. Let's measure these things with flowers. Tell me how many flowers tall each object is. Circle. So they actually get, get quite good at the end there. So I'll just show you some of the things in the back quickly. That you need to go with it. We'll just start right at the back. Okay, you've got puzzle solutions. Not sure how much you're gonna need those, but um, but they're there just in case for a quick reference. And then you've got the calendar activities that I mentioned there at the beginning. You've got your calendar if they want to do their own. Uh, we've got that Melissa and Doug one shapes practice, the number practice, and that's it. This is the one we use for the calendar practice. So um, they like it and they get to alternate who puts it on per day, but if they want their own calendar, that might be a great thing to use. I'll link this down below. It's the melissa.com. And we've got this Noah's Ark preschool book. So these are all the things that it goes over as well. God created colors, color blue. It says you can make different kinds of blue, gives you little tips and how you can lift the pencil up um, and make it lighter. And then it tells you like blue butterflies and blue bell towers and the different things are. Now we're on the opposites. Good and evil, happy and sad, night and day. Awake and asleep, open and closed. This is like its own curriculum in itself. Then you've got the triangle, so the shapes now we're on. This is pretty cool. I looked at it as much as I thought I did. And so again, practicing writing, you know, six, counting. But this would go higher. I'm pretty sure this goes to 10. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand here. And then we're doing your other letters, which is great. So this can go along with your All About Reading program, actually. <laughs> or if you're doing any other kind of phonics. I could save this for later years as well. Again, like this doesn't match up. Like this to be in a package with these things doesn't make any sense to me. And even this, this is like further on. This should be before this. Like, huh? Their, their things are not very well laid out, I feel like. Just a little review in this <laughs> look through. But anyway, definitely let me know if this has been helpful to you guys and if there's anything else you would like to see. I hope you found this enjoyable and helpful and I will definitely see you guys in the next video.